intimidating and awesome. It comes with sugar. <laughs> Damn it. Who keeps doing this? I can't even tell what half those are. And actually kind of interesting looking Pikachu. What is with a cut off head? Little walking shark. Markham Steel's location for the Walmart and still looking for those Master of the Universe origin figures. Wave 2. Haven't had much luck right now, so I'm hoping to uh, change that today. Let's head inside and wish me luck, guys. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be anything here for the Masters of the Universe. Oh, boy. Oh, well. Here's what it is. Still have a couple gung-hos here. Heard they might go on sale eventually, though. Here's open. Yeah. Looks like a freshie picked. Attorney mini section. Yeah. Pretty sure there's no Boba Fett's in there. Doesn't look like it anyway. Uh, yeah. No Boba Fett's. Same old stuff for the Avengers. And yeah, not much else to look at on this side. Azrael is cool looking, very, very cool. I do like the way he looks. He does look intimidating and awesome. Very cool. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's too much else to write about. Other than the other stuff here doesn't seem like we've already seen them already. Mostly the Constructicons here, Skipjack, Rampage. There's that repainted Megatron. Mostly the Studio Story stuff. Bumblebee off-road. Yeah. Shatter. Soundwave. Top spin. Yeah, this is interesting. This is Micromasters. Fuzzer and Blastmaster. Yeah, they're Autobots, I think. And they transform into... They combined into a shuttle. Oh, that's pretty cool. Huh. That's awesome. Yeah, but nothing else of real interest. Um, yeah, I thought uh, I'd find something here for Transformers, but... Whoa, 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 what is this? What is this? Okay, that's different. Netflix original series, Dakar Tomy. Compound net. Okay, what is this? It's got Ultra Magnus on the side. Spoilers inside, contents. Okay. What is this? It looks like a suitcase of something. <laughs> All right, that's interesting. Uh, okay, I did find something, I guess. I'm gonna have to scan that in and find out. Aw, oh, poor grapple. <laughs> no grapple love. And, oh, there is a Earthrise Optimus Prime. Very cool to see that as usual. But yeah, nothing, uh, sorry, there's overload. <laughs> yeah, but nothing else. Nothing else of any interest, so yeah, let's check this out. What is this? It's all taped up. Let's uh, let's see how much this costs, first of all. Um, where's the barcode? Okay, there it is. Uh, all right, so let's find out how much this costs. Ooh, $89. It's a hundred dollars, whatever it is. Okay, um, interesting. So, do I want to take a risk on this? It's, it's about a hundred bucks. Uh, well, let me look it up. Let's see what it, let's see what it's actually supposed to be. And of course, here's poor Grapple. Guys, adopt the Grapple today. They're so lonely. They need a home. Because there are a lot of him. Yeah. Remember guys, adopt the grapple today. Yeah, so I just took a look on the, the interwebs and I just found out that this apparently is the death version of Ultra Magnus. 
really cool. Unfortunately, I already just bought an Ultra Magnus, so <laughs> I don't think I need a death version of him, so I'm gonna pass. But there is a uh, G1 Blaster here. So yeah, the box looks pristine. And if anybody's interested, it's here at the Markham and Steele's location. All right, guys, I'm gonna go check out the rest of the place and see what happens. All right, <clears throat> take a look if there's any massive universe stuff. Unfortunately, there wasn't. They have restocked on a lot of the legend stuff here. Obviously, there's Black Tom Cassidy, Deadpool, Shikla with her little walking shark. That's damn cute. They have Apocalypse, War Machine, Apocalypse again, Dark Beast. He looks awesome. He does look awesome. He comes with sugar. <laughs> That's hilarious. And they have Weapon X, Deadpool, this is the X-Force Deadpool, sort of wearing uh, <laughs> Cyclops' armor, Apocalypse again, War Machine, and here is X-Man, check it out, the G.I. Joe His Tank is here, two of them. I already picked this up the other day, so I don't need it, but if anybody needs it, it's here at the Markham and Steele's location. Good to see this stuff in the wild. Okay. Man, I don't know what warehouse they found, but it they just spilled every single ghost, green ghost and then Stay Puft Marshmallow Man onto all the Walmarts in the area. It's just crazy. And there's no rhyme or reason where they put Marvel stuff. <laughs> like, here's Marvel Legends, Domino. Again, completely different section here. There's that Wolverine again, and the Mystique. Odd. I haven't seen the Negasonic um, or Deadpool combo, so. Yeah, still looking out for a lot of these things. But yeah, just. Just very strange sometimes. Holy cow. That is a lot of Slimers. Green ghosts. Alright, let's head to the next Walmart. It was good to see that those uh, vintage style His Tanks are starting to make their way into the Walmarts today. Oh, I see about two of them on average per Walmart when I see them. So if you're interested guys, this is the Markham and Steele's Walmart. I'm gonna have to off, I'm gonna head off to the next location. See you there. Yeah, not that much to report today. Oh hey, they got sandwich here today. Not bad. I don't think they had him here last time, so good to see him. I will consider it, but honestly, for 30 bucks, that is a lot of money. Oh look, it's grapple. Honestly guys, adopt a grapple today. They're really great. They do a lot of great things. They look good on your shelf. Yeah, these guys are lonely. You gotta adopt you gotta adopt one. He'll be your best friend. <laughs> and here's Earthrise Optimus Prime as always. He's always always looks good. Very cool. I'll check out the uh, Masters of the Universe section, <laughs> or lack thereof. All right. Yep, not much to write home about here. Pretty much, that's it. The only Motu kind of related stuff, of course, is the Masters of the WWE Universe. Nobody likes Seth Rollins either. Maybe we should start an adoption drive for him too. <laughs> anyway. Let's uh, let's check the other locations. Trend lately. <laughs> Up until last month, these <laughs> were impossible to find. Now they've literally exploded everywhere. My God. And but it's only Stay Puft, and it's only the Green Ghost. Right? You you literally can throw a rock and hit one. crazy. This would have been great, you know, a few months ago when everyone was hunting for them, but oh well, it is what it is. And I see this guy here again. Damn it. Who keeps doing this? It is not cool, guys. That is not 
what's worse than scalping is swapping. I don't know, there's a swapper out there. And he's constant. Or she, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's, um, yeah, maybe it's Swapper Sue, I don't know. Scalper Sam and Swapper Sue. But equal opportunity for people who do these things. Crazy. Correction, and they're, they're over here too. This is nuts. I think somebody found the pallet which was stuck in the warehouse and uh, yeah, they're just flooding the market with it now. Jesus. Crazy. So, in the build it category of the mega construction areas here, I got a new one here. It's a Banshee Breakout. Did not see this at Toys R Us the other day. Oh, cool. Now we have the Schiff Interceptor. That's neat. There's that building box that we saw before. A recon getaway. I guess that's a scene from the game itself. Turret takedown. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Cool stuff. Oh, what's this? It's a Mark 1 prototype exosuit. Cool. Okay. And we have a Skyfire exosuit. Neat. Oh, they got a lot of these things here. This one is a Breacher exosuit. Cool. And I think there's one more. It is the... No, same thing, Skyfire exosuit. Right. Very cool though. They're supporting this halo line quite a bit, which is very neat. And then we have 30 plus accessories here. For the UNSC Marine Gear Marine Gear Pack. Wow, 30 plus accessories. I can't even tell what half those are, but that's a lot of gear. Cool. Oh, they got additional ones as well. <coughs> oh. That is very neat. The Spartan Armor Pack. Well, I think that's it. Nope, nope, yeah, that is it. Yep. Very cool. Alright, well, that's something new to see. Guess we'll keep an eye on those ones from now on. Back here at Mark of the Mall, and I got lucky here last time with the G.I. Joe figures, so I'm hoping to get lucky again with the Masters of the Universe Origins. Wish me luck new here. There is a new MicroMaster. Roller Force and Groundhog. It's pretty cool. Other than that, there's Slither Fang, as usual. Sound, Soundwave is here. It's always good to see him. He looks very good. There's one lone grapple. Guys, adopt a grapple today. This this little guy could be yours. Give him a new home. Come on. There is also a blaster, but he looks like he's been opened. He's upside down, but he does have his blaster, and he's got his manual, so he is intact. But yeah, definitely has been opened at one point. The box is also a little bit worse for wear. Oh, wait a second. Hey, hey, hey. There's another one. So there's two of them here. And this one's also been opened. What the heck? Guys, what the hell, man? Alright, both of these two have been opened. But this box is a little bit better than the other one. Unfortunately, I'm wondering if maybe the bla the his basher blaster is missing from this one. Be sure to check the boxes, guys. Okay. Let's uh, quickly check the Master Universe aisle, or lack thereof. Yeah, I don't know, maybe maybe I got here too late. Maybe Scalper Sam's been here already. I'm gonna have to ask, ask one of the guys on the floor. Looks like they are restocking though, so maybe, maybe we might get lucky. Maybe I should come back here later tonight. 
we'll see what happens. I'm almost certain that these attorney amenities have been, have been picked through, but you never know. And of course, there is a w, the Masters of the WWE Universe, two Seth Rollins here. All right, let's, uh, let's head to Toys R Us before they close. One of those power wheels. Oh, 12 volt ride on Lexus. $600. It does look awesome though. Oh, holy cow. That's crazy. LX570. You're basically advertising to parents by buying this thing. <laughs> it does look cool though. The GI Joes are here but no Cobra Island today. Got really lucky that last time. So there's Cobra Commander, Gung Ho, Roadblock, and Gung Ho again. I think that's about it. Yep, not uh, not much else there. No Cobra Coils either. Alright, let's take a look at the Transformers. Here is the WWE section, Turtles, and here, oh, the Rangers. Oh, there's a new Dino Charge Black Ranger. I think I saw him the other day. Yeah, he looks pretty cool. Huh. Yeah, the uh, Power Ranger sale is over, so everything's back to normal prices again. And here are the Transformers. MicroMasters are on sale at a damn good price, that's for sure. Yeah, it looks like everyone's been picking through these. <laughs> no surprise there. Ah, too bad this little guy isn't on sale. That would have been awesome. Oh well, I can't have everything. Oh man, almost everybody. Yeah, a lot of the Pretty much everything's gone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Except Grapple. Grapple's here. Hey, Grapple. Guys, adopt a Grapple today. Yeah, holy crap. Everything. Everything else is gone. Wow, they really cleared it out. 60% off? Everybody gets on top of that. Incredible. Well, there are two weeks left, but I don't think they need two weeks. It's pretty much over. The only thing left are the MicroMasters. And, yeah, pretty much standard flare on everything. I was hoping to catch that uh, Shuttlecraft one. That was really cool. Everybody else, though, I think is here that I've already seen in the past. Nothing really new. Skylinks is still here, 129. Okay, well. I guess that's it, guys. 60% off, and they're gone. When these guys go back on sale, I'm definitely picking up a wheel jack and a hoist. <laughs> I already grabbed you, Grapple. Guys, adopt a Grapple today. They need a home. All right, let's get going. Wall of Funko Pops. Oh my god. Every time I come here, I just cannot believe how ridiculous this is. Oh my god. There really is nothing appealing about these guys to me at all. Okay, check this out. So here is a Looney Tunes pop. This actually kind of has some personality. And again, that's something I can get on board with, kind of because I'm really not going to get on board with that at all. Check out the Better Ray Bill. He almost looks like he has personality. That's because his face is freaking in a permanent smile. <sighs> yeah, the no, mouth, the no mouth thing is just killing me. Okay, I have to admit, that is one... Okay, I can't even grab these things. That is one freaky and actually kind of interesting looking Pikachu. What is with a cut off head? Oh no, that's just, that's just the plastic. 
yeah, just okay. Like I said, the Looney Tunes one, they have to put personality to it. Why? Because you wouldn't recognize that that's Bugs Bunny from that episode unless you actually had some personality added to it. Oh boy. Man, Pops. Never gonna understand them. Never gonna buy one. Then again, you never know. Interesting. I can't believe all the Leader Class and Voyager Siege figures are completely sold out at Toys R Us. The only thing left is the MicroMasters. Holy crap. Well, that's what happens when you have a 60 per, up to 60% off sale. It's pretty crazy. Dark early these days. So I'm back here at Box Grove Walmart. Um, I'm going to try my luck here. Wish me luck. Yeah, still a ton of those <clears throat> green ghosts. Of course, at this point, it doesn't matter if I drop it or not. There's so many of them. <sighs> Marshmallow man. Crazy. Must have been stuck in the back of a warehouse again. Yeah, that's the way it is. And here's the Transformers Al. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Although, this location, the box road location, has an abundance of blasters. One time a scalper Sam literally came and swept in. I didn't have my camera on me. And he took all the blasters with him. I wonder if he actually had a change of heart and returned them all. It's possible. Anyway, they're all here, and they're in pretty damn good condition, so... 30 bucks, if anybody's looking for them. Actually, I think it's 40 bucks. Reds are here too, but not much else than that. Although, as always, there are a bunch of grapples here. Guys, adopt a grapple today. They need a good home. Now, there's the Earthrise Star, uh, sorry, uh, Astro Train, which I picked up the other day. Always good to see him. All right. And in the, in the WWE slash Motu slash, well, pretty much anything really, area, all the Motu origins are still unaccounted for. Yeah, well, hopefully the shipments will come soon. And hopefully Scalper Sam hasn't actually gotten here. That you never know. That's Sneaky Sam. There is a Seth Rollins here too, though. No more sign of Mr. T, Jake the Snake, or even Bray Wyatt. So, I think I said, I think, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. Is it uh, The Fiend Bra Bray Wyatt? What? Bray Wyatt? Somebody help me out. Anyway, I think that'll do it for tonight. I might go back to uh, Stouffville later, just in case. But for the most part, I think that's it. That'll be it for tonight. Uh, not had, didn't get too much luck today uh, in terms of finding Motu. Found some interesting stuff like uh, that whole bunch of blasters here at Box Grove, but yeah, I think that's about it. There was also that his tank over at Steals and mark them. But that's the way Toy Hinson goes. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please do leave me a like. It really helps me out. And please consider subscribing as it helps YouTube to realize that I'm doing a good job and you guys enjoy my work. Well, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. Geek proud.